What's going on bros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. This is video one of a Solar Guard product Zenith IR that they sent me to review. So this is part one of my review. This is going to be the installation process. It's got a piece cut out here that I use for my meter to meter it. That'll be a separate video. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pre-cut and install the film to see if it's any good like for installation problems shrinking all that kind of stuff all right so hope you enjoy it the zenith ir is the best film uh that is in production right now by solar guard and um i was looking forward to something like this and right off the bat, I'll tell you that the film uh, is extremely, extremely beautiful in the color that it has. I really like it. I am a very big fan of good looking films. Um, and this one right, right off the bat, man, I'm, I'm really loving the color. So that's a big, big thing for me. It does have, I believe, a pretty high IR number and high IR numbers in good looking film not necessarily and with the name of solar guard do they belong in the same sentence but right now as you can see this is a charcoal as charcoal colors can get not brown not yucky not this not blue but you can see the color right off the bat okay so let me continue my thing and see what goes on It is thicker than dyed film for sure, so we've got multiple layers of some technology, some good stuff I guess. I see no fingers on this one, no stress, so we're just going to go ahead and um, cut it and drop it in. My colleagues are installing all the rear part to the car so gotta push this forward to give the gentleman back some room for the install okay, there it is gonna go ahead and cut the other side the other window right here while i'm at it i hate double cutting so i don't double cut but i will cut for that side right now
Let me see. Now this pattern is faced the opposite direction. I really like the fact that it doesn't have this horrible curls. Uh, I have handled a lot of films and a lot of films curl backwards and whatever. And people talk about liner in because it curls or doesn't curl. Well, I'll tell you what, this one, the liner is backwards like Lumar, but it has no curl. That is beyond fantastic. So I like this already that it doesn't curl. Dile a Yanin que estoy haciendo un video que no lo va a poder cortar este que se espere o que no le, no le venda nada. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. People come in to buy film to go and right now I'm making a video for you guys so I'm not gonna cut nobody no film to go. But my assistant said he's gonna do it so I'm glad he's gonna help me with that. All right. Do the seal right here. Yeah, that film, the way it behaves when you're managing it, it's really, really straight. It's not fucking curly, it's not limpy, not thin, not nothing. It's just really, really superb. Texas requires a legal sticker, there it is. And okay. I love the way the film is behaving, so all good. All really, really good. I have a peel board, but I'm gonna air peel for the uh, mobile installers that like the air peel, peel videos. Guys, just for you. Okay.
you guys you can see how gray the film is it's almost impossible to get into a 90 IR or something better film to get this type of clarity and like it's like glass it's very 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 hard man I like everything I'm looking at so far Okay, one of the things uh, with very sub inferior films even with the Teflon uh, tape that I have on my all-in-one when we do this and that's the reason I did the all-in-one so you can guys use it on the bottom without having to have one of those big squeegees that don't go all the way down this one will but the reason I'm showing you this is because I want to see if it scratches with this Teflon so I can tell you right away whether it has a poor scratch coat or not Make sure every time you go down there, you're collecting dust and shit up here, and then you do this, and you blame the fucking tape or the film. It's not that. Dirt is like sandpaper. If it gets in your cart and you do this bullshit, you're gonna scratch it. So do this cleaning and do your thing. You know, just be very, very conscious of that, and you're gonna be golden. You won't have any scratches. There's no scratches, fine scratches or nothing anywhere to be seen. Zenith IR window film. I'm really liking you. I'm gonna go to that side and do that door real quick. Okay, I'm done there. I'm done everywhere. I'm gonna remove this out of the way. Put it over there. I will come back to this in a little bit. Also, while I have the opportunity, I want to make a special request to all my friends out there in the film business and such that they inbox me today about these white scrub pads that they suck. I totally agree. Look at this linty shit and bullshit, right? Um, this is 3M from the store, but after a long, long while of using it, same thing happens. I find blue particles on you know wherever on doors or back windows and such so they do the same if you guys have a source for better scrub pads that are safe on glass but are not as flimsy as this crap a little bit more sturdy and hard and good like this that is other than 3m let us know okay we will appreciate it i appreciate it i appreciate all the nice uh, tips you guys give me all the time Okay. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna bring my little stool and finish the installation video. Liking it so far. That's gonna get clean. Okay. Oh, if I knew who was making the film for St. Gobain, I'll tell you, but I don't know. I just know that it's awesome, black, and you would never know it has such, such high IR block in it. But there it is. This is the roll, sample roll they sent me. John Nicholas, John Mitchell, the other gentleman, Solar Guard. I forget his name. It'll come to me a little bit later. Kendall, Kendall, Mr. Kendall Solar Guard. If, you, if I ever get those three guys in a room, I think I'm gonna pass out. That is extremely high quality rep from Solar Guard. I highly appreciate them. Not because they send me a sample roll, they actually send me a sample roll really fast. When they send me the board tech for review, they did it real fast. They did this real fast, so it really speaks volumes of customer service. I don't even want to name names, but other people promise me stuff for review and I never see it. And then they tell me that the dog ate their homework and all that bullshit. You're never gonna have that problem with a solar guard as far as I'm concerned because they've been around forever and nobody's ever said that they're a bunch of slackers because they're not. They're really, really great reps. 
I don't use solar guard film for my own reasons, but not because I don't want to, but because, you know, I mean, I'm also loyal to Lumar. But this film right here, I don't know what to tell you. It might make me go unfaithful. And I got a lot of reasons for it. As far as um, the quality of the film, the no curling, which I totally fucking hate from any manufacturer. Uh, bad looking film, you guys already know how I feel about that. So, all right, there it is. Now, as always, these are just my opinion. It doesn't mean this or that, that you don't have to stick to whoever you're working with. I just want to make you aware that there is a lot of people that have been waiting for good quality films and some manufacturers deliver, some half-ass deliver. And uh, Solar Guard in this case, it's looking really, really good. And I'm very happy because everybody talks about, you know, film and product from other countries and whatever they talk about. And I guess St. Cobain is, I don't know, European or something, but Solar Guard has been here in the U.S. forever. And uh, I'm glad that wherever they manufacture here, I believe in California, for all the people that love the idea of keeping jobs in the U.S. and all that, well, you ask for it, you have it. Quality film, quality manufacturers, made in the USA with, uh, I don't know the components, I really don't know, but that won't matter. Everybody has this globally sourced component, so I'm not going to pretend I know where it's coming from because I don't. This is a specialized sprayer tip I'm using on my dirty tank. It's not for sale. It's not the yellow one that everybody uses. It's not the red one that everybody uses. It's a different type. You guys know that I hate using a lot of water. So this one has extreme micro, micro nano droplets. And that's what I like on, on my installations. I like the film to be the water to be distributed very very finely and fast and that's what i'm getting here and that's the reason i have this different sprayer like you guys see me spraying like for an hour on the window but it's really not delivering tons of water it's the gallons per minute are a lot less javier le picas al botón por favor and there it is As you already know, um, another manufacturer released their 90 plus IR film this year and, uh, you know, got a very good start in the game, but I just want anybody who is in the game to uh, produce great products so that we as installers can always have a lot of different offerings, not just one or two sources to have good high quality film with high IR good looking and all that I want more people to do that not just one because you know how people complain and bitch about territories and whatever well in any case ceramic film is not going to be for the regular Joe Blow that I mean I'm I'm just being very honest this film is not going to be put in the hands of anybody or everybody um so but still, you know, some people want to be uh, faithful with uh, Solar Guard. Some people want to be faithful to Matical. Some people want to be faithful to Expel, Solar FX, Global, Johnson Window Films, Maxboro Window Films. And they ask within their, uh, you know, the, uh, the the companies they work for, they, they, they buy from, they ask within to like, hey man, so when are you guys coming up with some extraordinary mind-boggling film and well these guys as you can see have delivered on a lot of those 
including me, that I ask. There it is. So, you guys that are looking for alternatives as far as like you don't want to mess around with what's currently out there, this gray natural looking film, first review, okay? Automotive install you saw. I don't have creases. I don't have any scratches and stuff like that anywhere. I would have told you. I don't have a reason to not say so. That's called dirty review. And so there it is. And uh, I want you to guys to go ahead and join me for the other one where we're gonna put it in the meter and put it on white paper compared to a bunch of other brands and stuff like that. I wanna see how it stacks up. I want you to see how it stacks up. That's the whole name of the game. We ask for improvements in industry. Manufacturers deliver, guys who deliver will sell more film, be more successful in the marketplace. Right now this COVID bullshit that's going on, uh, you know, a lot of materials are not available. Companies succumb to, uh, to those kind of problems and whatever. And I'm just glad that Solar Guard is nice and healthy and delivering products like this. Man, I absolutely love it. I got no complaints on it, nothing. There was no folding of the film, no curling like a bunch of other ones. It was just like fucking straight nice thick film that is very good looking it doesn't have smears or, or problems with uh quick release glues and shit like that um man join me for the other one i hope you really enjoyed it and in a couple more days i'll have the uh the other review number two on solar guard zenith ir guys have a great day gopro stop recording